Winter has finally come to Oslo and it's really cold now. So in this video I will do a real-world charging test with the Ionic 5 and see how it charges when it's really cold. Since the Ionic 5 shares the same platform with the Kia EV6 and also the Ionic 6, I think the results will be comparable. How will I do this test? Well, I parked the car outside to ensure that the battery is really cold and then I will drive to the Ionity charger in Dahl and uh, I will also activate the battery preconditioning feature to make sure that the battery gets uh, warmed up and then it will be interesting to see how fast the car can charge. Right now here according to the weather app it's minus 6 degrees, uh, minus 8 at the charger so that will be interesting. So let's go to the car and start driving. So here is the car. I parked it outside to actually ensure it's nicely cold. So let's go inside and see how, um, how the actual temperature is. So let's start the car and see what we have. So here the battery is at 49%, so that's pretty good. I think when we are there we should have maybe 30 or so, we'll see. The temperature here is actually not so cold, minus one. The phone shows minus seven. So I think it has to do with the fact that there are some houses around here, so they basically warm up uh, the city center more than outside the city center. So we will see how cold it is. And then let's just find the Ionity charger. There are several ways to do it. I usually just find the destination, which is called Dahl. I hope you can see this. So, requesting routing. And then... Uh, the route guidance will start now. Now turn right. Uh, and then I find the EV chargers that are close by. Near destination. So, Ionity Da. Click on this one. Yeah, so that the pre-charging or pre-conditioning works, it's very important to select the charger here that it actually shows this little Ionity icon here. I hope you can see it. Oi. <laughs> uh, okay, once more. Uh, because this means that the system actually selects the charger and knows that it's an APC charger so that the battery conditioning can start. So now I just select it here, set as destination. It will think a little bit and then I will see the distance. Yeah, so 54 kilometers. Some music on the iPhone. And um, yeah, now we can leave from here. So let's see how it goes. Okay, let's do a quick systems check here. Uh, battery is now 45%. We just drove uh, seven kilometers, so we're just a few minutes on the road. And now the outside temperature is minus five, so that will be nice because I think in Dahl it could really be then minus seven, so definitely a bit colder than here. What is also interesting, the battery preconditioning has actually already started. I didn't expect it to start so early because after all, it takes like 40 minutes or so after we started, but 
the moment I started driving, it uh, started to run. So you can see here the battery care now uses 3.9 kilowatts. It shows it's 21% of the entire consumption, but that is simply because we, we just uh, left basically. So that's interesting. I didn't know because when I did this trip in autumn, it started usually around 20 minutes before I would reach the charger. But now it's still, I think, 30 minutes to go, 40 minutes to go, and it has, has started heating up the battery. So that is very promising because that basically means that the battery will be warm once I arrive in Dahl. now just north of the airport and there was a sign that there's extremely high danger of moose so that's of course typically for the Norwegian stereotype I hope there is no moose here because these are very big animals and they can actually really well damage the car and the driver but um, well there's 110 here so it's actually quite a high speed so I really hope I don't see a moose tonight Battery wise, the battery care is still on 3.7, consumption is at 31.7 right now and we are, should be there in uh, 5 minutes or so, let's see, it's six, 6 kilometers only until the exit and now it's minus 8 degrees outside, minus 8 degrees, so that's a very nice test, I'm very curious how fast it will charge, I don't expect it will charge as fast as in summer so there are always some people in the forums who say oh it's minus 10 but it still doesn't go to 220 kilowatts uh, during the charging uh, that's of course I think a bit unrealistic but um, yeah let's see it's also of course a comparison to other cars I think most of them will actually charge much slower so yeah I'm really curious and looking looking forward to it so now it's the last few kilometers here the battery is already down to 28%, so actually a bit more than I expected. My gut feeling said we would arrive there with 30%, but now it's 28, so it will be a few percentage points less. Now it's even minus 9 degrees. Very nice. That will be a great uh, test to charge in these conditions. So here we are to drive a bit carefully because it might be slippery but so far so good you have arrived at your destination some pedestrians oh and look here there is a charging queue so I have to wait a little bit until the charger becomes available let's see where the last car is Okay, so arrived now, 26% battery, 30.7 kilowatt consumption, including the battery care. The battery care went off now, of course, but look at this uh, long queue. This is actually one of the busiest chargers in Norway, and they have now, as far as I know, 12 charging sites for Ionity, and there are actually even some more from Circle K, as I can see. So let's see how long this will take. The problem is, of course, when there are some slow charging cars, if there were only cars that could charge as fast as the Ionic, of course, the wait wouldn't be so long. But let's see, there are one, two, three, four, five, six cars. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just wait here, of course, and see a little bit how, how it moves. Still 88 kilometers range left. Well, I think I would not make it to Oslo, but probably to some other charger as well. <coughs> So it's moving a bit here. There's actually a charger on the left that is free. So I don't know why the guy in front of me doesn't take it. Could just go out and ask him. Hello. 
Hei, hei. Er det ikke en ledig på venstre siden? Jeg tror det at nå virker den. Ja. Det ser sånn ut. Det, det ser sånn ut, ja, ja. Du kan... Ja, ja. Ok. Ok, she's up now. So, now we're number one in the queue. So, let's see. There is this one on the left. Let's see how this thing here works. Okay. Open the charging port. Let's see whether we can get this one to work. Ah, looking good. Okay, here we go. 50 kilowatts. That's already really, really good. It's ice cold. 70 now. Just started, so 26%. I think I only need 50 to be able to go home. So let's see. So and here we go. It's uh, minus 8 degrees and it says 24 minutes to 80%. That's really good for this uh, weather. I tested this uh, when it was a lot warmer. There's actually a guy behind me. He needs to charge. He says he's at zero. So I will charge here as little as possible but um, 75 kilowatt hours in this weather is great I had when it was plus 4 degrees 39 kilowatts when the battery was cold so this is really really good for this weather and well I guess it will also increase a bit so let's see So this is one of the busiest Ionity chargers in Norway, I guess. They have now 12 charging sites and they're still aligned. I think there are now one, two, three, well, three cars. It got a little bit better, uh, but this is like a popular route here. It's just north of Oslo. Uh, I didn't expect there would be so much traffic at this hour. I actually thought I would get here more or less or would get to charge more or less immediately. It's actually another charger in the background from Circle K over oh, just 50 kilowatts. So that would be a bit slow. And I think they are also at least, well, they're definitely more expensive when you don't have the Ionity, uh, Ionity agreement or this premium or however it's called. So yeah, the current fuel price, 21 kroner. So I'll calculate later what that is in euros, for example. Ah, now look at this up to 107 just when I said I take a technical break now the speed is going up very nice 107 at minus 8 well I guess well I could technically walk around and look what the other cars have here's this EV6 that is basically the same platform that should charge as fast this is fantastic 18 minutes now to 80 percent so basically yeah when you are on a long trip and have the possibility to charge when the battery is down to 40 just do it i guess when you need to take a break anyway so there's always this discussion in the forums why don't you charge with 20 percent on my road trip when i charge with 50 but in real life sometimes you need to stop and well when you stop and can charge you should always charge how is it called abc always be charging Okay, now, finally, time for a technical stop. Okay, technical break completed. I also bought some drinks. So I think for these fuel stations, electric cars is the best that could have happened to them because earlier when I didn't have an electric car, you only stopped like 10 minutes or so, but now it's longer. So there's still a queue here. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four cars. Yeah, and I think I should be relatively quickly done. So now let's take a look here at the charging speed. Let's see how far we got. Oh, 100. That's going up 140. That's really good. 48% and has charged since 15 minutes. All right, now again, 50%. It was just at 
150 so I think the battery is deciding what it wants it's now minus 9 so let's see whether we see 150 again it's still 12 minutes now to 80% so that basically means the the speed will go up but that's good to know so basically it charges of course much slower than uh, when it's warmer that's pretty obvious so basically on longer trips maybe it's really good if you stop somewhere and you have 40% or even 50 it's probably just good to charge to 80 yeah now we're seeing here 145 but of course if you have a trip where you only need to charge once of course it might make sense to drive it like really down to yeah 20 percent or so i think the battery pre-warming only works until around 24 percent battery or 20 there are a bit like different opinions in the forums i think you can start it with 24 but it will stop at 20 or something like this well now here 144 that's really really good that's no comparison to what it charged in autumn without the battery preconditioning and of course the consumption is a little bit higher but i guess yeah well this ev6 will charge pretty fast there's an audi i don't know how far it charges this one charges and i think this porsche here will also charge quite quite fast so yeah this is really nice really nice functionality to have but no Now we see here five minutes left 125 kilowatts charging speed this is really nice i didn't stop actually when i or didn't check the time when i started to charge but i think the ionity charger itself displays how long i have been charging so that will be very interesting still minus nine it's really ice cold outside so a great a great test environment here Okay, we almost reached 80% now. So now is the big final to see how long have we actually charged to 80% in nine degrees centigrade. Uh, as always on YouTube, if you like this video, please click like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel. So now let's take a look, turn the camera around. So here it's still charging. Let's see on the display here. Yes, we are at 80% and it took 27 minutes. We charged 48. Uh, kilowatt oh wait a second yeah 48 kilowatt and even now the charging speed is at 90 that's actually pretty good but since there's a queue let's uh, stop here so that the others can also charge always uh, wait a little bit to plug this and put it back very nice here Oslo okay I'm on the way back so this was a great test it worked really well although I had to wait about 15 minutes so during this time of course the battery also cooled a little bit down but I guess it was probably not as much as I thought because the charging went like really good given the temperatures 